my purpose with this channel is to unify all the layers of being because I am what Hegel calls the negative and I need to re-establish my, my self-identity with the whole of being. And I have, from my perspective, a vision of the totality and I must share this view so that the totality, the totality itself becomes conscious of itself as one self-moving, self-thinking being. And I made videos about the philosophy of nature uh, introductory remarks. I made videos about the philosophy of sex and I made videos about uh, the awakening of Europe and, and paganism. And if you are interested in, in what I have to say in this video, I recommend that you should watch the playlists uh, if you have the time and the interest in order to see the, 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 the movement towards unity. And in this video, I will talk about what Hegel calls figures of consciousness, which are really existing uh, people on the path towards absolute knowing. And these people are moments of the divine totality becoming conscious of itself. And my purpose is to help these figures uh, become conscious of their own divine nature and to help them remember who they are, namely to put back their individual uh, uh, members, their individual membership in relation to the movement of the totality. And I will talk in this video about uh, pagan women, uh, who might be considered as pagan witches, but more accurately uh, are pagan goddesses, because in truth, uh, every human is divine, he just must, he must simply remember and be remembered and be reminded his own divine nature. And I would like to talk about Scarlett Ravenswood and Carolyn Emmerich. Uh, they are figures of consciousness, one representing a, a positive, uh, joyful, I would say leftist, for lack of a better attributes kind of paganism but she's not really a leftist but she she's not a right winger either she's simply a, a pagan and Carolyn Emmerich who is <laughs> also positive in a way but she has a um, certain negative views and I, I am not condemning the negative because I myself I am very negative uh, in, in the mind of the common people, she, she represents negativity because she has expressed certain ideas concerning certain political ideologies which are not popular in this day and age. And I would like to, to, to try to unify several layers of being, namely Nietzsche, Naomi Wolf and modern sociobiology from a feminist perspective, Hegel and the philosophy of nature, Julius Evola and the metaphysics of sex, and uh, a brief view of the relationship between paganism and Christianity. I will begin by a quote by Nietzsche. When a woman has scholarly inclinations, there is usually something wrong with her sexuality. That's very comical, because here's the transition to Naomi Wolf and the philosophy of sex. Uh, Naomi Wolf, in her book, Vagina, a new biography, explains from the perspective of a feminist that the modern discoveries of neurobiology and, 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 and biology explain that there is a relationship between um, the vagina and the brain and that when the, the vagina is properly stimulated in the sexual intercourse, the brain feels good and, 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 and feels um, uh, positive emotions and there are chemical structures within the brain which are activated by the, the sexual act and, and especially the orgasm and as, um, um, uh, an experience of an orgasm for a woman enables her to see a world full of colors to see um, unexpected connections between various events or various things or various moments of life and, and the world uh, to feel 
uh, joy, of course, and to feel a oneness uh, with all things and, uh, and to lose the, the sense of, of individual identity, to transcend the ego. So women um, seek in sexuality, they seek to reach orgasm, uh, which they don't always achieve but yeah and um, what they seek is actually unconsciously a religious experience namely what I have just expressed a, a feeling of unity with all things and a loss of individual selfhood and a connection to a greater sense of self and I will read a passage from uh, a book about Hegel which talks not about sex but about philosophy and he says by leaving behind intellect, and here he means der Verstand, which is dualistic, categorical, scientific thinking as we understand it. By leaving behind intellect and individuality, we lose ourselves in a primordial oneness with all things and are thus capable of tapping into lines of connection of which we are not ordinarily consciously aware. Uh, phenomena such as mind reading or remote viewing become possible in such a state. Hegel is quick to point out, however, that psychic states are not a higher faculty or level of spirit. In fact, they involve a descent into the lowest depth of spirit. Uh, yeah, so um, what women seek in, in all their endeavors, the reason why women uh, make uh, have makeup and dress well and, and spend most of their time preparing themselves and making themselves beautiful and trying to be attractive for men uh, and, 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 and go shopping or, or, or they do crazy things to please men because they want to be possessed and penetrated by men in order to lose their sense of, of, of selfhood and their sense of individual identity which, which is a cause of suffering. And women are complete... Uh, totally sexual creatures. That's Julius Evola, which says that the whole of woman is sex. Man is also mostly sexual, but he can elevate um, above the level of the purely natural sexuality, because that's a very comical aspect of Evola. He says that man can see the limit of his sexuality, because his penis, no matter how long it might be, is not infinite. It has a limit in, in size and in space. So man can reflect upon his own limitation as a sexual being, which forces him to transcend his sexuality and to seek the infinite in another realm, mostly in art or politics or science or, or, or philosophy or religion. And what man wants is to penetrate woman and Woman in relation to man is, is the other which stands opposed. It's the, 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 the not-self. So, um, nature, strictly speaking, uh, is the other of the mind. So, nature is female and mind is male in, in a metaphysical sense. And uh, I would like to, quote, to, to read another quote from Hegel. Um, same book about Hegel. Um, we must not regard the soul as spatially distinct from the world. In psychic states, soul and world overlap. This happens when we sink into a certain primitive mode of being, but it also happens when we achieve philosophical understanding. And what we men in the realm of nature, in the realm of, of, of physics, and the physical material world, what they seek in sexuality is to lose themselves in this primordial oneness of all things. And what men seek in the highest attempt of achieving philosophical understanding is the same thing, but in the intellectual realm. And the women who are less interested in material sex are more interested in, um, in inquiring and searching for information and for knowledge. And what they want is a an intellectual orgasm, so to speak, they want uh, that a higher spiritual principle, a higher mind, uh, make them understand themselves and lose their sense of identity and enable them to connect with the whole of being and to become one with, with the entire cosmos. They want to, to dissolve 
their, their individual soul within, within the world soul. And um, that is what Evola means when he says that woman in, in, the, in the classical teaching of, of, um, of um, the Roman church has no soul, but actually it's not that women has no soul, it's that they, they, they do not possess the principle of spirit. Women have a soul and they are a soul, but they have no spirit. They have not the higher faculty, the metaphysical principle, and that's what they seek, this higher spiritual faculty in men. And uh, the difference in <clears throat> uh, sexual stimulation between, between men and women is that women, uh, men need to visualize the sexual act. That's why men watch pornography and enjoy pornography. Female, on the other hand, they have a more interior view of sexuality. And I said in another video that uh, sexual intercourse for women consists in reading romantic novel because the writer of a romantic novel, if he's talented, he can read and penetrate the mind of women and women sense a, a feeling of being dispossessed and, and having their mind being completely <laughs> interpreted and, and make knowledgeable and, made, and, and, and understood. Women want to be understood and to be intimately penetrated. So romantic novels are to women what pornography is to men. It's two different types of, of achieving um, uh, sexual intercourse in the realm of, I wouldn't say art, that would be degrading, but in the realm of, of non-physical um, intercourse. So yeah. Um, also, um, Hegel says that through our soul, which is an immaterial principle which embodies itself. So for Hegel, the soul and the body are one. They are two aspects of the same entity. Um, and he says that we, through our soul, we participate in the, in, the, in the life of the world soul, the universal soul, which is nature. And he, Hegel talked about the differences between the various races of man and that each race has a, a particular soul which is connected to the climate, the geography, the history of that race, and that um, what modern pagans seek is to, to understand and to rejoin with their folk soul, the soul of their people, and uh, the left-wing pagan, for lack of a better word, do it through a strictly intellectual or spiritual process, whereas the right-wing pagan, they do it first by a socio-biological process. So they, they first study the body and the biological determinations of themselves and their ancestors, and only then they seek to understand the soul, which is within the body, but in a more elevated way. But the, the two end up co uh, coinciding and what the left-wing pagans lack is the socio-biological understanding of race. Because um, to understand race does not mean to be a racist, even though it can lead to racism. It's simply to understand yourself better as a determination of nature. And um, yeah, so um, what women want is the higher faculty the spiritual principle present in men to penetrate them intellectually in the realm of sex. It is physically in the realm of the intellect when they are more um, interested in studying and gathering knowledge. They want to be penetrated spiritually, to be awakened, to see the connections of all things, to understand themselves fully, to be enlightened, to lose their sense of identity and to connect with the greater totality and to, to stimulate a woman properly in the realm of sex or in the realm of spirit enables her to awaken an outburst of creativity. And women are made to be creative. And um, that's what I have to say. And uh, I will continue my videos on this topic because I find it... Uh, interesting and um, yeah.